In this video I'm going to show you how to Netflix change country, that is how to switch region with a VPN. Okay, so Netflix as you know is probably now is a global account in that you can buy a Netflix account anywhere in the world and it sort of follows you around. Now it does change a lot, so there are in fact many many versions of Netflix uh, depending on which country you happen to be in. So if you log into um, Netflix in UK you'll get a different version or a different list of films than you would in the US. Um, so your account works all over the world but it will change a lot. Uh, unfortunately they're not always equal which is why lots of people want to switch versions of Netflix because sometimes it's personal taste you might want different things different language obviously the French version of Netflix will have more French films and um, the Chinese version will have more Chinese films and so on um, anyway I'm going to show you how you can change country it's quite easy to do now I'm going to show you what version I've got here now I've got I'm logged into Netflix here and if you scroll down from the home screen you'll see Top 10 films in France today. <clears throat> that means Fran um, Netflix is showing me the French catalogue. And if I scroll down further, you'll see... Again, I think there's something usually at the bottom there. Top 10 free TV programmes in France today. So at the moment, um, Netflix thinks I'm in France. Now, why does it think I'm in France? I'm not actually in France, but my IP address is French. I'll just show you quickly. This is a site called gps-coordinates.org. It's a bit like, where, where is my IP? What is my IP? If you Google those, you'll get something similar. And what it does, it looks up my IP address and sees where it's registered, basically. And you can see um, Netflix thinks I'm in France, hence I get the French version of Netflix. Okay? Uh, which is great. Okay? Um, now, it'll also pick up the language that you've got set so I'm English and my my um, language is set to English so I'll, I'll have the French version of the English version of French Netflix if you like if you change your language in your profiles and you can change browse by language here I'd get more French films but they're all there it's just showing up in my um, <coughs> what it shows in my home screen is sort of English based content in France Okay, so what can I do? How, why would I want to change it? Well, perhaps I've heard, which is entirely true, that I want the US version. Perhaps there's a film, I think there's a film that is missing here. I was looking for my son the other day. I don't know if it's on the... Uh... Yeah, that's the one. Madagascar Escape to Africa. Uh, we don't have Madagascar uh, Escape to Africa on the French version of Netflix. So, let me see. Let's just uh, minimize these. Um, I'll show you the VPN I use. Um, there's lots of these. Uh, you're best going for a big, useful one, um, uh, because a lot get blocked by things like Netflix. I use this one called NordVPN. There's a link to their latest discounts if you're interested. But there's there's loads of others. Um and you can see this sits in my taskbar. You can install it on your um, smartphone, TV, tablet, laptop, whatever. <clears throat> and I'm connected to a French server. That's why I've got French net Netflix. I'm not in France at all. I'm in the UK at the moment. So um, that's why I've got French Netflix. But let me see. I'm looking for Madagascar 2. And I've heard the United States have the best version of Netflix. Well, the biggest and most comprehensive. So I'm clicking on uh, a United States server. I could have clicked on the map there. And it says now I'm connected to the United States. Just let me go there. Let's go back to this website and tell it to look up my location again. And hopefully now it, the VPN is basically an encrypted tunnel, uh, like a proxy server. And any website I see only sees the IP address of the VPN server, not... My real IP address. You can't actually change your IP address easily, but you can hide it dead easy using a VPN. So you can see now I'm in New York and I'm connected to a US VPN server. <clears throat> so let me go back to um, Netflix. Let's just go to the home screen and refresh. Now, hopefully, Netflix has looked at my um, 
IP address and you can see it's changed to the Stranger Things but let's just look down here and see now we've got top 10 films in the US today great and if I scroll down to the bottom uh, basically the whole catalogue will have changed there'll be loads of different stuff there now of course you'll lose some sort of French stuff um, from my last one but there, there'll be more uh, English stuff and big films and things the American one is much bigger than lots of the others there's top 10 TV programs in the US today and tires is the never heard of it but there you go uh, and let's just do a check what were we looking for Madagascar Madagascar 2, wasn't it? Madagascar 2, and there we can see we have it. See, it wasn't on the French version. It's not on the UK version as well, because I was looking at for my nephew. And let's just play. Looks like I scold sushi for And there you can see we're streaming Madagascar 2 from the US version of Netflix. So obviously you have to have... Um, a Netflix account using a VPN doesn't bypass that or anything like that. All it does is give you 50 odd different versions of Netflix rather than just one. And um, it's surprising how much difference there is, really. There's a lot of difference in documentaries and TV shows um, to assign to individual taste, I guess, for different locations. Uh, but the films are where they vary because you have to pay licenses to broadcast in each country and and they obviously make more money in um america with hundreds of millions of people who live there so the 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 business is much bigger there so they they can pay more money for more films so um you get the best version there so it's worth switching to us netflix occasionally just see what's on there uh and i'll finish that now um thank you very much for watching and i hope you have a great rest of the day bye for now